After accidentally abandoning him in a forest for a period of six months, they found him emaciated and barely alive, both his arms torn off by wolves. I next spoke with Mr. Svee Dove, who, in addition to being a talented tampon salesman, has been working in the carpentry industry for the last two weeks. I mean, I definitely think his lack of arms hurts his ability to be a good carpenter, that's for sure. But uh, in terms of what I was saying before, I mean, he's got a lot of problems, you know. For one thing, uh, men we work with just don't respect them. Uh, for example, there was one occasion in which uh, one of that coons we work with at a mill uh, replaced a stick of wood that Simon was working with in a rolled up paper bag. This was almost as sad as it was funny because all Simon didn't realise what happened for at least two weeks. I mean, this is now a joke that's been repeated several times, not just because it's so funny, but also because for safety reasons. I mean, we're concerned if Simon actually does get his hands on a piece of wood, he may hurt himself. I mean, if when you say carpenter, you mean someone who works with and makes things out of wood, then I suppose Simon really isn't a carpenter in the strictest sense of the term. To my knowledge, though, Simon's never been around wood. I was disheartened to discover that Old Simon's pieces were really the work of the other healthy carpenters who had claimed that they were Old Simon's for publicity reasons. Nevertheless, I felt a strange kinship with Old Simon and continued to admire his courage and dedication to his dream. When he was being strapped back into his respirator one afternoon, he had the chance to say this to me.